What's up everyone, how you're doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now today guys, we're going to focus on trying to finish the interior on the main part of the castle at the back here. I've got a load of work that I want to get done, so we're going to dive straight in again as always. And um, before we get started guys, I just wanted to say thank you for voting for the next village in our poll in the community tab. It seems like you guys want to see a Nordic village next, so I'm super excited for that one. And I have got a ton of really cool ideas that I think you guys are going to love. So that's going to be coming very soon, guys. Anyway, on with today's video and on with the tutorial. We're going to come straight in here to the throne room. And first of all, we're going to come out to the uh, little hallway here. And we're going to just, first of all, extend our carpet. So we're going to bring these three pieces here all the way down until we touch the wall. So let's just extend that bit across there. Now down here, I'm just going to try and get in some basic details into all of the hallways because we've got so many hallways and I don't want to kind of over cramp them. So we're going to keep them fairly simple. I think we're going to start by putting a composter in this corner and I think one in this corner and then just two lots of jungle leaves on top, just like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to put a crafting table here which is the where the window is there is one in and we've got the window again here so we're going to go one in there and then place three of our bookshelves in between it like this i'm going to grab the lanterns as well and what we're going to do here is right where this door is at this side come one block away from the wall place one there down to this side again right where the three is because this is a three wide hallway Right in the middle, place one, just one block away from the wall. And then on this corner here, one block away from the wall in the center again as well. Now, if you want to, guys, you can go ahead and put some glowstone into the floor like this. And then we're just going to cover all of, the, all of the floor up with some red carpet. Just nice and simple. Nothing too crazy down here. If you want to break the carpet up like we did on the upstairs to make it look a bit rough through here, you can. But because we're making this strip that leads down to the throne here, I don't want to make it look a little bit ra random and strange here as well. So I thought I'd keep this bit all like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and I feel I'm going to place a lantern just there. And then we're going to grab a couple of flower pots, which will be here. Let's get our flower pots. And then we're literally just going to decorate with a couple of flowers just to neaten up the area and just to kind of make it sort of um, just a little bit of color here and there. Flower pots do make a lot of difference, especially on interiors when you ain't got too much sort of to um, be able to decorate with. So let's put a flower pot on each corner here. We'll put one purple one there and a red one there. And I think maybe what we just do is grab ourselves some sea pickles. And what we can do is just go ahead and put a couple of those down because in Jersey Boys texture pack, they look a bit like candles. And I think that will do for this little bit of the walkway. Like I said, I don't want to go too crazy here. Just keep it nice and simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the red carpet and just extend it across here as well. Now we are going to have the dungeon down here, guys. And I'm not going to be working on that today. That's going to be in another episode. Because um, today I want to basically finish off all the main hallways and any of the remaining rooms in the castle of this on this side if I can. Now, while we're here, I also want to do a little bit of um, changing up in here. I think we need a little table. It looks too empty over here. So I think for here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this corner block here where the um, where the crafting table is. We've got one block there, our crafting table. We're going to go one, two, place a crafting table there. Then we're going to crouch, place an upside down one against it. We're going to place another one just here. Um, and then we're going to actually place one more here and then break that one, I think. Then we're going to run one upside down stair, two, and three. And I think one more, four. One, two, three. Yeah, four. So we've got five in total. There's five upside down stairs across that side. And then on the corner here, let's place one that way and then one, two, three in the center. Jump on the table here and place one, st one stair on the corner, one in the middle, one on this end. Turn around to do the same thing down this side. And then there we go. We've got ourselves a little table just over in the corner here. And it just fills up that bit of space. I feel like we just need something here. This could be maybe where the king might talk to a few of his men that may come into the castle for some reason. 
and then we're going to place a couple of armor stands each side of this doorway. Now on the table I'm going to place a iron frame in front of all of the seats like this as a little plate. We're going to place a flower pot just like this as a little cup. And if you have Germany Boys texture pack you can get a brown mushroom and what you can do is place a mushroom inside it and it makes it look like a kind of a proper cup with a bit of water or sink in it. Then once you've done that I guess we're going to just grab some sea pickles because they look like candles, place a few of those on the table and then I suppose the only other thing is to add a bit of food to the plates. So just get something simple here, we're going to just grab some chicken, some steak and some pumpkin pie. And we're just going to place it on the plates, we'll twist it around so that it looks like it's in, placed in front of them. Something like that. Over here we're going to go for another steak. Then we'll go for pumpkin pie in the middle to spin that around to there. And then one more piece of chicken. And let's just turn that to there. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. We've just got a simple little table there, guys. Nothing too crazy, but just a simple little table in case the king would want to talk to his men for any reason. Or some of the guards or something like that. Right, okay, that pretty much finish up, finishes up this bit. We're just going to grab a little bit of armor here. And I'm just going to go for some iron armor. You could use leather armor if you want here. Or chain armor, gold armor, whatever you have laying about that you're not using, guys. And then just go ahead and put it on these armor stands here. Just like this. There we go, perfect. Now I'm going to head over to this room here. So just as you come out, it's our first little room here. And I weren't too sure what to do with this at first. But I think I've come to an idea that this would actually make a good idea for some guest rooms. Like some guest bedrooms. So I think what we're going to do is where we got this corner here. We're going to run a wall all the way across here. And we'll put a doorway, say, one block in from that wall. So there's a, the wall ends just there, for instance. Let's break this one here. Then we're going to just run this across like this. Bring it over here. Join it up across there. And then just cover the rest of this up. And then that will be one room in here. We don't want these guest rooms to be too big. And we only want a few of them. Now we've got two block gap here. So we want a two block gap here. Place a block on the third one. We're going to bring this down. And how should we go about this side? I think we're going to, yeah, we're just going to keep it straight. Let's make a straight line like that. Then we'll divide this up so we can have, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go be a very tiny room, but we'll do something like that. Leave a three block gap in the middle. We can join up like this. And then we can just literally have a little hallway slash storage area right in here. So yeah, we'll leave this bit open. And that give us three little rooms. We'll have one in here, which would be probably the biggest room. Uh, this one here, we'll put the doorway. Maybe there. We'll have a very small little room in there. And then over here, we'll put a doorway there, which is two blocks over. And then what we're going to do, guys, is just add one layer to the top of these like this. And then just bring it all the way around over the top of the doorway like that. And then just fill in all of the walls. And that basically gives us four, uh, three little bedrooms here. You know, And like I said, these are just going to be very simple, basic guest rooms. You know, maybe even rooms that the soldiers might use now and again. And we just fill that all up like so. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's quickly grab another stair. We'll place one upside down one just there as well, just to match up with that beam on that side. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's get ourselves some lanterns. And right in the center, right where the door is here, one way from one block away from the edge there, we're going to place one there. Come all the way to the end here. Again, right in the center and one block away, we're going to place one there. Um, let's go one, two, three, place one on the fourth. One, two, three, place one on the fourth. And then we've got a three block gap in the middle, which is perfect. 
Shame this one didn't line up perfectly center. That would have been good. But it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and place one in there as well like that. And I think that should do. Right, let's get ourselves some doors for these rooms. So we're going to go ahead, place a door on the inside of the room. So that we get this little indentation on the outside. Do it for all three of the rooms. Perfect. Okay, that's looking good. Let's get rid of any of these torches on the walls. Because we're not going to need those now. Okay, right. So, let's start with this room here. This is the larger room. So, let's go in here. And we don't want nothing too crazy in here. So, I think... So, first of all, let's make a little area for the bed. We're going to place the bed in the corner here, I think. Um... Actually, no. I think maybe we'll place it here. A bit more room here, yeah. So, place two of our walls just here. Leave one block gap on one side. Place your two beds bookshelf here then run it all the way across i think here one thing i might actually do is grab some barrels as well because we can make use of some of the barrels let's just change it out with that for the moment and then we're gonna get rid of that let's put in a, how many lights we're gonna need in here let's go one here and one I think we'll actually get away with one just in the center there and maybe we'll have a little lantern over the side somewhere so we got that for the bed let's go ahead and maybe put in some little units like this and you can even maybe have some bookcases above something like that and i suppose you could even do something like that just to make a little sort of unit in the corner here i think that looks pretty cool over here, we're just going to have a little kind of desk area. In fact, we could actually even put a little table here. So we could put a chair, a chair, and then maybe something like that, actually. We'll place it up. And then what we'll do, in fact, you know what we can use? I keep forgetting that we have these, is we can actually place the scaffold block. We can use that. So let's go ahead and use the scaffold block as a little table, which is perfect. And we can even put a little flower pot on there. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead. Let's put one of those there. And we're going to put a little picture just there. I think we'll do the same on this side. Let's get rid of that. And then we're going to put a picture just there. Picture above the bed. And maybe even a picture on here if we can get a different one. Actually, we'll do a two one. There we go. Perfect. And we're just going to we do our sort of scatter thing in here where we kind of make the floor look a little bit broken. Something like that. And then I think what I'm going to do is place two trap doors here. These are the spruce trap doors. Open them up. And we look like we've got a nice large bed here. And I think this actually looks really nice. Let's go ahead and just put a flower inside that pot. So I'm going to place a blue orchid in there. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm just wondering, would it look better if we done that? Yeah, I think that looks better, actually. I like that. Perfect. Okay, right. That's one bedroom done. Let's head out of here. And we're going to head into the small bedroom, which is this little one in here. So in here, we're going to do something. It's going to have to be pretty simple in here. We'll place... Hmm, one bed, two beds, or should we have a little bunk bed in here? This could be like a little kid's room. Let's put a lantern right in the middle, like that. Yeah, maybe this could be a kid's bedroom. Let's place the dark oak logs in the corner here, going up to the ceiling. And we're going to get one, two ladders like this. Then we're just going to grab ourselves some spruce signs. And right where the head of the uh, bed is, where the pillow bit is, we're going to place a sign on one. And we're going to have to crouch to place these. And a sign on the other there. And we've got a little bunk bed. This could be like a little kid's room, maybe. 
Uh, then we'll have a couple of these. In fact, we're going to have bookshelves up the corner here like this. And maybe we'll break that bottom one there and we can just put a couple of these here. Maybe we'll put a little flower pot just there with a flower in it. Um, let's put a single painting if we can in the middle like that. And do you know what? I think I'm going to just keep it like that. Just nice and simple in here. Nothing too crazy because it's a very small room. Um, and I don't really want to over cramp it. But I think that will work. You know, it'd be like a little room for maybe some kids or something like that. Okay, so we've got one more bedroom to do. And this one is the middle sized room. Which we should be able to do something pretty decent with. Right, we're going to place three pieces of wall at the back. Three beds in front of it. Then I think we're going to go some bookshelves at the top. We'll even get ourselves some barrels if we can get them in this one. There we go. Get the barrels. And we go three barrels like so. Let's take that off there and we're going to put a lantern right there. Maybe another one there. They look a little bit close, but I think it'll be all right. Now, in here, guys, I am going to keep this relatively simple. So, let's go for... Hmm. Let's maybe put a little couple of tables there. In fact, we can put a lantern on there and move this one back by one block. Yep, that looks better. And then, what we'll do is we'll put a table on the end like that. And we'll get ourselves a stair. We're going to go for the spruce stair. And we're just going to place the spruce stair down there. So it looks like there's a little table there. Maybe even replace this one here as well. So it looks like a little bit of a table. And I think that'll do. Let's go ahead and put in a little um, painting. Perfect. We'll put another one, a single one again over here. Just like that. Little flower pot with a flower in it. And then a little bit of purple flooring. So let's go ahead and get our carpets. And again, we're just going to do something like... Do you know what? We might as well just cover that. It's so sm such a small area anyway. But um, I think that will do the job. Yeah, I think that will. Let's go one, one, and one. But not that one. And not that one. There we go. Three pictures across the back there. Yeah, it's simple, guys. It's very simple design, but I think it will do the job. These are only guest rooms after all, and I think that works. Now, in the hallway here, I was debating about what to do, and I think I'm just going to make a little kind of chill-out area for the guests. So, first of all, let's go ahead and make a little nice fire in this corner. So, place two stairs like this, okay? And then place one on top like that, and one on top like that. You can place your campfire on the inside like this. And then you can go ahead and get yourself some stone bricks. Place them just there. And then maybe place an upside down stair here and here. Just to make it look like it goes up and out like a chimney. And I think that's looking, I think that's pretty cool. I like the idea of that. Now, over in this corner here, there's not really an awful lot we can do. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just place a few bookshelves like this. Uh, just to keep it kind of, just to keep a little area there and uh, just something for a point of interest, maybe a flower pot on top. We'll put a flower in there in a moment. Now, over this side here, I think we're going to try and get in a few, maybe a few chairs or something. So let's go for, let's get some brown beds. Where the door is on this side here, leave a two block gap, place two beds like this with one block space of so the brown beds. And then another two block space here. Now, if you ain't using Jersey Boys texture pack and you don't have beds like this, you could use some slabs. And then maybe on the backs, you could put some trap doors and put them upwards. Um, or you could just use just the slabs. You could even just put down some, um, some spruce stairs, like stairs facing this way. And then stairs facing this way. And then just go ahead and put your tables in between like this. Okay. 
So if you're not, if you're, if you're using Germsy Boys Texture Pack, you can use the brown bed. But if you're not using Germsy Boys Texture Pack, I think the best thing here would be to go ahead and use some spruce stairs. And uh, just go ahead, basically, and I would just basically break that, place two stairs like that, and two stairs like that. Okay, so it's entirely up to you. And I think, you know what, I actually think this actually looks a little bit more cosy. Let's actually do that with this one. I think it actually looks a little bit more cosy. Do the stairs, I think, yeah. Something like that, I think. Then, I guess, over on this side here, we're going to make a little bookshelf in the corner here. So let's go, say, three across like this. Fill it up to the ceiling. And then I think we'll get some spruce trapdoors. And we'll just cover up this side so that it looks like it's um, a proper bookcase and all sort of fitted into place. Yeah, something a bit like that. I think that looks good. Okay, so we've got a little sitting area for the guests. We've got this little um, bookshelf. A little bit of a nice area over here by the fire. Maybe we could go ahead. Maybe. maybe mm, I'll tell you what. Maybe we'll just make another bookshelf in this corner like this. And then again, we can put our trap doors up the side. Yeah, something like that. I think that might be a little bit better. Okay, what do we have on inside here? Because maybe it would be better if we had a door further over. See, I'm thinking maybe the door would be better if it was here. So what we could do is remove that. If we go on the inside, let's get our bricks. Fill that up there. We'll move our crafting bench tables over to... Ah, oh, we can't because we've got that there. So we'd have to move the beds around. Let's do this. Okay, so we'll put the, them in there. We'll get our flower pot and we'll place that just here. We can place our painting on there. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of those. Then what we could do here is break this pillar here. And I do apologize for this, guys. Break the beds. And what you'll do is get your beds again. So we'll go back to the cyan beds. Place one here and one on top. Then the pillar can go in this corner. Let's get our logs. Put the pillar in this corner here like this. Get your ladder and your sign. And then we can go two ladders and then crouch, place a sign just up there. And then that should be good. And then we've got a doorway here now. Now, what we're going to quickly do is get our stairs. And actually, in all the doorways, let's place an upside down stair. And we also want to put a door on this um, room again as well, like that. Place an upside down stair here. Perfect. Okay, see now what we can do is we can actually extend this across a little bit. To just give a little bit more sort of, um, a little bit more interest over in this corner. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Something like that. You know, and then if you re if you wanted to, you could get yourself a little kind of sofa to come around like that. Just to sort of chill out in that little corner, like a little kind of reading area. Something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, down here, we're not going to really do too much down here. I think what we'll do is maybe this could be bit more of a sort of storage area or maybe if we broke that and we put a little frame around like this upside down stair in the middle we could have a room bit of a long room let's break that block there yeah we could probably get away with a room in here so let's do the same thing let's put a door on it first of all 
Across the back here, let's put three white wall. We're going to put three beds across the edge like this. And I guess on the top here, we're going to just go for some bookshelves, I think. Let's get some bookshelves. And we'll leave a one block gap, place some here, and just fill them up to the ceiling like so. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice little space there for the um, for the visitors. And we'll place three painters in, paintings in the back there. Over the edge here, let's go ahead and we'll get some crafting tables. And here we're just going to put three crafting tables across here. We'll grab ourselves some barrels. Put some barrels up across the top here. We'll put a lantern in the corner. Um, let's put a maybe a little single paint in here. So let's do something like that. Put a little single paint in there. Maybe we could put a little double one across here. Something like that. And then maybe we'll just get a couple of tripwire hooks. And these can look a little bit like coat hooks. And maybe we could just put like one here and one here. Just for a couple of little coat hooks. And I think that'll do for this room, guys. Nothing too crazy. Um, the only other thing I will do first, though, is put in a little bit of flooring. And maybe we'll go with pink in here. Let's see how it looks. It might look a little bit much. In fact, you know what I'm going to do in here? I'm actually just going to break these. And rather than actually covering it as a flooring, we'll do a little rug through the middle. Like that. Yeah, something like that. A small, little, simple rug. There we go. Okay, right. Now, I think we're more or less done here, guys. Maybe outside here, we'll just put a couple of these. Maybe a couple down this side. Actually, we'll just do it down one side because it's going to look a bit cramped otherwise. A couple of bookshelves. Um, a painting. Not that big. We don't want one that big. Let's put something here and here. Perfect. Painting like that. Do the same on the opposite side. There we go. Yeah, something like that looks good. Let's get in a few flower pots and some flowers now. So I'm going to just grab some purple and some red ones. And then just some flower pots. And we're just going to dot these around in rooms and anywhere that we can kind of fit them. Just to add a little bit of color. A little bit of interest somewhere. Um, oh, we've got no paintings over here. Let's see if we can get some on here. So what have we got? got for space let's put one there and maybe one on this one yeah there we go something like that i think that will do yeah something like that it's looking pretty good guys i'm actually pretty happy with that we're gonna get some green carpet i think in here now, normally, guys, I don't use such a variety of coloured carpets, especially with all rooms and stuff like that. But I thought I'd just kind of show you guys what it sort of what it could look like with some different colours. I think in the corner here, I am going to actually just do those like that. Let's put another flower pot there. I'm going to actually put a flower pot on this table here and that table there. Let's go for our purple ones in those. Yeah, that'll do. And then we're going to get our carpet in. So let's just kind of do something. Again, a little bit random. And we just can't, you just want it to kind of just be broken up a little bit in between everything. So something along these kind of lines. Um, let's go maybe like that. Bring it down to that door. We'll leave one in the corner. This one down here, let's do that. And something, I think, a bit like that. I think that will do. Yeah, I think that'll do the job. Yeah, I think that'll do, guys. I'm actually pretty happy with that. That actually looks pretty cool. We've got a little chill-out area here. One bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, and four bedroom. Okay. Okay. That covers that area, and I think that is actually pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. 
Now, I think that is everywhere on the ground floor done, minus where the dungeon's going to go. So now, we're going to head upstairs, and we're going to start working on some of the areas up here. So, first of all, what we're going to do, when we come up these stairs here, this first set of stairs, uh, one, of, one of my subscribers told me this, and you know, even though I built this castle, I totally missed it myself. If we break the carpet here for a second, we can actually break this wall here. Because behind it is the back of the castle, which I totally miss. And I do apologize, guys. I cannot remember which subscriber it was that mentioned it. And I couldn't find it in my comments. So I do apologize. If it was you, be sure to let me know in the comments. And thank you for, for letting me know. Because uh, it is something that I totally didn't realize. So we're going to break out from the ground up. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go six up. So you should have one block underneath this edge here and go all the way over here until you get to this one here. Then we're going to break down all of this. And what we're going to actually do, we leave one there. So we've got two blocks on that side. And what we do, where this bit is here, let's bring this all the way to the roof. Okay, one pillar all in this little gap here, all the way up to the roof. Now, where the stairs are, let's break them down to here. And what we want to do is we want to match up where this is, well, all, not quite match up, no. We want to do something like that. So where, where your stair is, you want one block at the side of it like this. Get your stairs, place an upside down one here, here, and here. Then we're going to grab our dark oak planks or the flooring planks, whatever ones you guys have used. Replace these ones here and then fill the flooring at the back here. Just like this. And we've got a nice little area here. Now I think for here, we're just going to go ahead and at the same level here, just fill in the stone bricks. Just like that. Okay, gives us a little bit of an area there. Get your stairs, place an upside down one at each side like this to create a bit of a curved area here. So what we could do here is get some stone bricks. Maybe place one in there, get the stairs and place them across the edge in front like this. Okay. Um, at the side here, we're going to place an upside down one and an upside down one like that. Then I think we're going to go and place a lantern directly in the center. Then if we grab our armor stands, we can go ahead, place one armor stand here, one armor stand here. We'll get a chest. We'll place a chest in the center like it's a bit of treasure. Let's get ourselves some armor. And again, you can choose any armor here, guys. It doesn't matter what you use. I'm going to go ahead and put a bit of chain, chain mail armor here. But you guys could use leather armor, iron armor. If you really want to, you could use gold or diamond. It's entirely up to you. Let's put some armor on these guys. There we go. Something like that. And I think what we'll do is we'll get some item frames. And let's keep our flower pots available. I don't know if I'm going to use them. And maybe we'll get something like a sword. And, and I think we'll leave it as a sword. That do. And what we'll do is maybe we'll do something like this. And we'll place a sword like that on each one and I think that actually looks pretty cool yeah I like that maybe we'll get out our stairs put two more across there one more in that area there we could also put one up there if we wanted to and in fact to even it out you could even actually just bring this wall here out so break this bring this out by two and then that makes it equal on the other side there and then we can put some stairs in here. Just looks a little bit nicer, I think, like that. And then maybe the lantern, we can bring that one forward like that. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty cool. I like that. Right, and then on this landing here now, you can go ahead and you can either use the red or the green carpet. It's entirely up to you. And you can place it randomly so it's broken up like we've been doing. Or you can place it all over the place it's entirely up to you guys i'm gonna go for something like that i think yep that looks good 
Okay, right, so now we've got all of the ground floor done. We've done everything on the ground floor now. I'm pretty sure that's all done other than the dungeon now. So now we can come up to here. We've got this bit of the floor done. All of this room down here is done. I think through here it goes onto the balcony, which it does. We can do that at another point. Um, this area here is all done. What we're going to do here, guys, is come up these stairs here. And we're going to do the same with this wall, like what we've done downstairs. So let's go ahead and we're going to go one, two, three, and leave the one there by the stair. We're going to break this one all the way up until we are one block from the top. Okay, so up to here. Bring it all the way across. And we're going to leave two on this side, like we did below. Okay, two on this side. Break down that one. And then break one. So you're going to have one, one by the stairs. One by the stairs like this, just like you did on the other side. Break these ones here. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get ourselves some dark oak planks in for flooring. Something like this, just simple. Place an upside down stair here, here, here like this. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. We're not going to place one down the bottom. Uh, but we've got our windows here, so we've got a bit of light coming through. We're going to just go ahead and fill this little gap here with some stone bricks. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one up like this. And maybe we should even bring it out just like the other side. Like this. Okay, so it's equal with that. Again, three upside down stairs here and here. A lantern right in the center block there. And then in here... There's not really much room to really do anything. I think if we're going to do anything in here, um, I'm not too sure what we would do. It's really dark here. So I guess what we can do here, let's get ourselves something. So you can go for anything you want here, guys, just like a table or a saying. I'm going to go for the crafting table here. I think I'm just going to wrap a little unit all the way around this edge like that. I'm going to place a lantern in that corner there again for that little bit of extra lightness there. Um, on this side here, I'm going to actually do something similar. So where the stair ends, leave a one block gap, place a crafting table, and then we're going to get some bookshelves. Place them across here. And then on here, we can place a lantern about there. And I think that will do the job. Let's place a lantern over here as well. Um... You know, and again, there's nothing. This ain't really nothing much. There's nothing to really show off down here. Just something like that. Um, but it makes the area look a little bit more interesting having that open gap. Then let's go ahead and obviously put in a bit of decoration. So some flower pots maybe. So let's get some flower pots. And we'll get some red flowers. And then maybe maybe we could do like a little display area. So like we could have like that and that. We'll get the lantern again in a second. Let's put the lantern in the middle. Maybe we could do like um like a couple of swords on display. Like this. And then we could place a paint in. Let's go ahead. We need a block for this one. Let's get a block, any block, and we'll do something like that. Let's put a paint in here. There we go. And we'll do exactly the same on this side. There we go, two different paintings. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, maybe we could do something like that, like that, like that. And again, we can just make it look like another little display sort of thing. Maybe a couple of swords. You know, you could do some armor or something different there if you wanted. It's entirely up to you guys. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, guys, what we're going to just do then, we'll we come back. I've got some ideas what we do, but we're going to come back to that in just a minute because I've got some other stuff we need to finish here first. So let's just do our carpet. And again, you know, just do your random breaks here and there. In fact, let's do it that way. Something like that. Up the stairs here. Now, I'm going to come back to this. I've got an idea to brighten up the area here um, with a few things. 
But we're going to come back to that. There's a lot of work to get done, and I don't want to confuse you guys. So we're going to stay on one floor at a time. So now we've done that top bit of the stairs. Let's, let's finish up the rest of this floor. So this floor is actually looking pretty good. I actually like everything we've got here. That leads us onto the, the walkway. This one leads us through to the balcony. And then this one leads us down to the kitchen and on to the feast hall, which I really like. Now on the corner here, it's a little bit dark. So what we're going to do is break these two pieces of carpet. We're going to get some bookshelves and we're just going to literally place some bookshelves like this. Put a flower pot and we'll grab the lily of the valley maybe. Actually, no, let's, um, let's try that again. Get our flower pot and... We'll actually place a red flower in there. Let's go for the red tulip. There we go. Something different. Get a lantern and put the lantern right in the corner. And we can even throw some sea pickles on here about there. And that just brightens up that corner because that corner is a little bit dark. Now, heading on around the edge here, guys. I think everything else around here looks good. So we're going to come in here and start working on this storage room. Now, again, in here it's very dark. So let's, before we do anything, let's get some lanterns in place. So for the lanterns, I'm going to go ahead where we got the stair at the side here. Go right to the middle because there's three blocks here. Place one there. All the way back to this wall, place one there. Got one block gap around it. And that should be enough for the moment. Then we're going to get ourselves some barrels. And we're also going to get ourselves some scaffolding for the moment. Now over here, I just want to kind of put in like a kind of... Um, kind of storage area rack so let's put some bookshelves down here and i'll tell you what i'm going to do all bookshelves for the moment and then i'll replace it after so break these three stairs just put bookshelves all the way up to that corner there leaving a one block gap at each side bring your bookshelves over like this and then from here we're going to come up and then just fill all of this area here now i am going to break some in a second this is just for the moment that lantern we're going to just Break it, place it one further back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead, break some of them and place in some barrels. Okay, some random barrels. And again, don't use no organized pattern or anything here, guys. Just place them however you feel. Something like this. Something like that I think looks pretty good. And if you wanted to, you could even just replace a couple of these like this. Just to look like empty storage things. Maybe like some barrels have been removed. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it on this side. I think I'm just going to keep it to that side. And then just to make it look like there's a little bit more support here. I'm going to grab some um, some trapdoors. I'm going to actually break this under here. Place a glowstone. Because glowstone will brighten up the area. No, glowstone. And then place trapdoors across the top bit here so let's crouch place one against that one and one against that one so it looks a bit more supported there and we've got the hidden lighting in the back there as well which is really cool okay right so i think this looks pretty good for a bit of storage here let's get some more barrels and we're going to stand some upwards like this um i think even in this corner here we can stand a few like so and again, down here, I'm not going to go too crazy with this for a storage room, guys. It's just going to be pretty basic. Um, let's go ahead, I think, and make a little table. So let's get out spruce slabs and spruce stairs. And in the corner there, we're going to go upside down stair. Let's crouch place an upside down stair there. Come across here. We'll put a flower pot here. Maybe even a lantern in that corner there just to brighten it up a little bit more. Um, and we don't really need to do too much more. Let's get some flowers. We'll go for a blue orchid here. And I think I might just plop a couple of armor stands with nothing on them. Okay, and maybe even a loom. So let's just place an armor stand, say, there. Maybe one in that corner like that. Um, and maybe even one on here. It's just random. But it just, it just makes it look like it's a storage area, you know? It just keeps everything looking a little bit messy and a bit unorganized for the area down here. And I think that'd be all right for down here, to be honest, guys. I don't think we need to redo anything more than that. 
Let's head upstairs now. And up here, we're going to continue the storage area. So, first of all, go over to the center of the room on this side. One block, two block on the third one. Let's place a lantern. Let's do the same on this side. One, two, three, lantern. Okay, and then we're going to find the middle of the room if we have one. Um, and we don't have a middle. What have we done something like... We should have a middle. One, two, three. One and two. Let's place one there, actually. And we'll do one there, one there. There we go. Nice and even. So we've now got a two block gap this side. Then we've got three, gap, three here. Three. And then one on this side. So first of all, what we're going to do is break this end ladder here. And we're going to fill blocks all the way to the top on this corner here. Then we're going to get our barrels placed three across the bottom here. Grab your bookshelves. Now again, guys, I know we're using a lot of bookshelves here, but bookshelves work really good in little storage areas. And a, a place like a castle would normally have a lot of books and a lot of storage. So we're going to just fill all of this up like this. Nice and simple, something like that. And then we're just going to use our barrels again like before and just randomly change up some of the positions. Something like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, this is going to be a storage area. So first of all, we have an open edge here. Let's go ahead and make a doorway. So what we can do is just bring this all the way up. This side all the way up like this. And then just bring it down until you've got a two block gap on the side here. And we can go ahead and actually from this side here, we're going to place a door. And I'm going to use the dark oak again. So something like this. Okay, right now, so we've got a bit of storage there. Let's get ourselves some barrels first of all, and we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, and then one here like this, okay, just to create a random bit of space. And then just pile them up a bit like this, and on the very top here, let's just put another one facing upwards like that, okay? Allows us a bit of storage. Let's put the table, so one block away from that barrel, let's put a table here, leave two blocks gap, and then another one just there. Let's place some slabs in between. I'm going to put a barrel here and we're going to put a tripwire hook on the front of it. So it looks a little bit like a kind of uh, like a kind of beer, a beer keg, I suppose. Let's place one of these each side, the flower pot. And then we're going to place a brown mushroom inside of it. If you're using Jersey Boys texture pack, just to make them look more like drinking cups. Then we just place a normal one here with a flower in it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to place a loom block over here. Um, because it just looks like a random different sort of styled block. Are these directional? They are. So we could actually even do it like this. Which actually looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do something like that. Let's go ahead and get some note blocks. The note blocks looks a little bit like crates, but even if they're the normal note blocks, I still think they look alright as a kind of decorational block like this. And we're going to just stack some in the corner like that. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another lantern. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to place one on top of that. Um, for storage up here, do we need any more storage? Let's place an upside down stair just on this corner here. Leave a one block gap. Actually, we go up one more. Leave a two block gap and place just a little table like that. And then on here, we're just going to have a flower pot on one side with a flower. And we'll just put another barrel on this one. And we could just put another one of those on the front. Why not? This is kind of like a kind of food and drink storage area. That's the idea in here. So now let's get ourselves a few trap doors and I'm going to place say three here. And these are on the top half of this block. Okay. Which means we can place stuff on top of this one. Then we're going to move over, leave a one block gap, do the same across here on the top half of this box so we can place stuff on top of this. Let's move back over to here. Um, I think that should do maybe we'll even get in another one maybe about here 
and we just want this for some kind of storage so let's put like a couple of barrels up here maybe just a few random barrels like so we could then go ahead and maybe even put in a couple of random crates something like that bit of storage um that's actually pretty cool anything else we can use for storage would be chests let's get some chests and we'll place a chest there a chest there one there maybe one on top there and i think that actually looks pretty good there's like a bunch of storage in here that we can use let's go ahead and actually get our ladder and we're gonna actually put a ladder on here so that it makes it look like we can actually climb up so we have to crouch to place it against the barrels there we go something like that and i think the rest should be pretty good yeah i think that looks all right for a little storage area um and again if you feel like it's dark anywhere and you want to add another lantern in somewhere you can go ahead but i think this is actually okay and then we're just going to grab our green carpet again and we're just going to go ahead and just fill in some green carpet around something maybe like this yeah i think that looks pretty good maybe even one there so yeah this is like a little food storage this is all of the storage for food and barrels and stuff like that we've got plenty of storage up here and if we come down here we can come down and we got some storage down here and again we did miss out a bit of carpet down here so let's go ahead and randomly place some in like so and i think this is actually pretty cool i actually really like this yeah that's cool okay right so now we have our doorway here and all open now if we go back downstairs i'm pretty sure that is everything on the floor down here done now this is all of the rooms so if we start from here this leads out to the balcony this leads into this little room here now we're going to come back another time to this room here because um, that goes into a different part of the castle we can walk around here feast hall kitchen this part of the hallway is all done this is all looking really good right let's head upstairs now guys this is probably going to be a bit of a lengthy episode because we've got quite a lot of work to do now up here again i want to neaten this up and add some interest up here so let's go ahead let's get ourselves some bookshelves some crafting tables um and i think that'll do for just a moment so first of all over here let's place three bookshelves and we're going to go for a crafting table there in this groove here actually what we're going to do is get some stone bricks let's fill this bit here with stone bricks break this end one and fill this all the way to the top with stone bricks i think i actually had some upside down stairs here before so you probably need to break those then on the back here let's place three crafting tables like that some bookshelves across the top and then let's get some barrels and we're going to use this as a little storage area so bum 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 like that let's place a lantern on this side and we've got a lantern right there i don't think we need another lantern there let's put one on here though so something like that i think that will do and thinking about it I'll tell you what, let's break this little bit here again. Sorry, guys, I do apologize for the breaking of things. We're going to actually put some crates here. Or you could even put some barrels. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to maybe stick one barrel like that. Or actually, I might even just stand one up. Might look a bit funny like that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put some barrels. Perhaps like... Yeah, perhaps like that. So we've got some barrels in the corner. And I think this is actually shaping up nicely. And again, we don't need to go too crazy here. I just want to keep this relatively simple. And I think that probably is enough. So let's go ahead and we're going to put in a little flower pot just over here for now. Put flower on it. And we'll do the same over here. There we go. Now I'm just going to grab the green carpet again guys and of course as always we're just going to go and do our little pattern up here on the floor. 
Okay, so we've got something a little bit like this, guys. Something nice and simple and nothing too crazy. Now, in here, guys, it's going to be something a little bit different as well. I think most of this is just going to be filled like a hallway. So we're going to have some, um, some bookshelves and stuff like that in here. But this room here, I think, will work pretty well as a kind of like a little kind of office room like maybe for the king to sign some paperwork or maybe if there's guests signing into the castle maybe they're going to go up into the top floor um so just to sign in and out or something you know just something like that i think so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually place a lantern about there which is right in the center of the room in the middle here let's put two lecterns like that and then we're going to put a crafting table on this side upside down stair here and then one two three four down this side here um and then we're gonna have three in the center yeah and then we're gonna turn one here this wall here i'm gonna actually break that block there and then place some stone blocks down the side like this go ahead and grab your barrels place three across the bottom here then we're just going to place in some bookshelves. And like before, guys, just go ahead and choose a few spots for maybe some barrels. Something. Something kind of along these lines. And then get yourself a ladder. And then you just need to crouch and just place some ladders going up to the top like that. And I think that will do. Let's place another barrel here, but standing upwards. Uh, no, full of apples. Let's place the barrel facing that way. Okay, right. So now we've got like a little kind of reception area here. So we're going to place a flower pot just there and another one just over here. I think we're going to put a lantern on the corner here. And we're going to get ourselves a couple of other things here. So first of all, we want a book and quill. A book and quill. We're going to get a red mushroom. If you're playing in Germany, boys, texture pack, we're going to get a red mushroom. The red mushroom, we place it in here, turns to a book to a little uh, quill with an ink. And then we're going to go around in here and put a couple of books on these. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and get a flower. We can put a flower inside the flower pot. So something like that. Then we're going to just get a chair in the center here. So let's just go ahead and we're going to go with spruce. You can do this in any color you want, guys. Just match up whatever color it is you're using. So I'm going to go all spruce. So we're going to go spruce slab. We're going to go for spruce signs. And we're going to go with spruce trap doors. And if you really wanted to, you haven't got to, you could just get yourself a white banner as well. It's entirely your choice. And actually, I'm going to grab, grab a bell as well. Just you never know. We might need a bell up here just to alert for any reasons or to call to call for the king or something. Then behind the desk here, right in the middle, place a slab. Place a trapdoor behind it with one above and open them up. Place the sign on the slab. No, not like that. You want to place it on the slab like that. Same on this side. And then up here, if we come around to this side, we can crouch, place a banner against the top um, trapdoor, and it gives us a nice little chair for behind the desk that I think looks pretty cool. Okay, I don't think we really need too much more in this room, to be honest with you guys. I think we might just place a couple of the um, note blocks behind here, maybe one in the corner like that, just to make it look like there's a bit of a storage area. And I think we're going to go with that. I think that is good enough. So we'll do that. We're going to just make a little bit more decorative. So on this side here, we're going to leave one, two, three block gap and then place one, two, three, four of our um, bookshelves. Up here, we're going to place one, two, three bookshelves and then directly in front of this walkway, another three, actually four bookshelves like that. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. And then all we're going to do here is can get some of our flower pots randomly in any point. We also want to get a lantern. 
And again, the lantern can just go randomly on any one of these. Let's put it there, and then I think this side will put it there. Um, up here, it's pretty dark, guys. This guy here, let me um, add a couple more. So let's get rid of this lantern for a minute. In the middle of this walkway, where this stair is here, we're going to leave a one block gap, place one there. Do the same on that side there. And then we should be able to come over to this corner over here. Again, directly in line with that one. And one block away from the wall, we're going to place one there and one there. There we go. A bunch of lighting up here. Just make it a little bit more brighter. Then when we come around here, we're going to place a lantern right in this little edge here. One directly into that corner there. And then we're going to leave one, two, three. Place one on the fourth. One, two, three. One on the fourth. And then finally, I think one here. And in fact, there's a bigger gap on this side. So let's just move this one over one. So the four block gap is in the center. We should have something like that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now again, guys, through this bit, let's just go ahead and place down some carpet with our kind of random pattern here. Something like this. Go all the way through, so you want to cover all around the reception, all the way around here. Um, and you don't want to take it into this area yet, or down the stairs yet, okay? Just, I'll show you where to stop. So just follow it around like this. Okay, guys, and then we pretty much just want to stop here, just in front of the stairs. So something about here. Okay, right about there. So we've got a nice little walk walkway now. Now, just before we finish up, guys, I just want to just finish a tiny bit. So all we're going to do is quickly down this hallway here, we're going to place some bookshelves like this. So at the bottom of the stairs, leave a two block gap, actually. Then place one, two, three, four, five, six bookshelves like this. Place a lantern, maybe a lantern on each side like that. Place your carpet down on the floor again down here. And again, just use your random pattern. Something kind of like that. We're going to get out flower pots. And just place a couple of flowers here. Something nice and simple. Then we're going to grab some paintings because we haven't put no paintings up on this bit yet. So let's grab our paintings. And for the paintings, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place... Hmm, let's see. I think one... If we do that, we should be able to get a four, two by two one there. And we could do the same about here. So we've got one block gap between it. And you know what? We're going to just put another bench down at the corner, another bookshelf at the corner there, just to even that out and make it look a little bit nicer. And I think that would do for that. Let's break that one there in the corner. And I'm just going to stick some note blocks here, just for a bit of storage, because castles have a lot of storage about. And this is our storage room outside here anyway. So it kind of makes sense. Right, guys, I've almost finished up the this side of the castle now. One last thing is this part here. So let's break these two upside down stairs. We're going to then bring a pillar down here, a pillar up here, and then bring two down here like this. And we're going to actually just place an upside down stair there like that. Come inside here. Let's get ourselves a dark oak door. And we're going to place a dark oak door right there. Okay. Perfect. So now we've got our way in and out of this room here. And we're just going to extend this carpet to something like, like that. Okay. Right. Okay. So we've got the upstairs to do, guys, which will be done probably in the next episode. But we're just going to do this room. And I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Right. So first of all, where the door is, guys, let's put some of the bookshelves across this wall here. And then we're going to just throw in a couple of barrels. Not many in here. This is a this is kind of going to be like a bit of a library. So let's literally just go something like the ones across the bottom here and then maybe something like one here. One there and maybe one over there. Let's put that back there. That do. Then we're going to put a ladder up so it looks like we can actually access everything. Okay, that looks good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a big bookshelf here. So this is going to be from this corner here and then all the way down here. Because this is going to be, like I said, like a library. Leave a one block gap by the door here. Bring this all the way to the roof. And then just bring your bookshelves down to the end like this. And just basically take it all the way up to the ceiling.
Okay, perfect. That looks really cool. Now, down this wall here where the windows are, we're going to actually go ahead and I think what we're going to do is we're going to place a lectern directly in front of the windows like this. And then we're going to go ahead on this side, the right hand side here, and place a crafting table down each side. I'm going to place a lantern just, actually, no, we won't do that. Let's go on ahead and let's just make the seeding in here just a slight bit nicer, okay? So let's get ourselves some uh, dark oak planks. And what we're going to do is, where the windows are, place one, two, three across, leave a one block gap. And we're just going to make like a kind of um, a timber roofing. Something like that. Okay. And then we're going to place a lantern on that one and a lantern on this one. So we've got a bit of light in here. Let's place a lantern down here. And I actually like the way this one looks. I think this corner piece here, I'm going to break this block here. And we're going to actually make that a dark oak pillar so that it looks like it kind of finishes on the bookshelves again down here guys you can go ahead and change these bottom ones out for barrels for a little bit of storage just to make it look a little bit nicer i think that looks good in front of the lecterns here we're going to go ahead and place a stair and then just for a tiny little bit of detail here guys we're going to get some flower pots with some flowers Grab some red mushrooms. Don't forget the flower pots. And then what we're going to do is we've got our chairs. We've got that. There's one other thing, which is going to be a book and quill. We're going to need a few, just a couple of those to go on here. So we could maybe put one on here, maybe here, here. We don't have to put one on every one of them, you know, just to make it look like it's been used. Let's put a flower pot on these three. We'll put a pen a red mushroom in these ones to make it like that and maybe this one over here we're putting a flower and guys i think that is pretty much it let's go ahead and get our green carpet we're gonna run a little bit of carpet through here just relatively simple like this in fact let's break those to something like that maybe we'll do that one there as well and maybe the one in the corner here yeah, something like that. That will do. And I actually think that looks pretty good, guys. I think that looks nice as like a little kind of library slash research area. You know, maybe for for the king's for the king's guards or maybe even for his mages or stuff like that. Um, you know, I think it's a nice little area. And that is this part of the castle pretty much all done, guys. All we got to do next is this floor here, which is going to be the king's chambers. This is where we're going to have the king's bedroom, maybe the king's chill-out zone, maybe even a couple of guest bedrooms up here as well. I'm not too sure exactly what we're going to have up here just yet, but that's kind of what I think we're going to go for. But as you can see, we've got all of this hallway in place, and I think it looks really cool. One thing we did miss here, guys, is the sea pickles and maybe we might have even missed a few paintings that we could put up so anywhere that you feel you want to put a painting be sure to just go ahead and uh, put a painting up you can also put a few little candles around something like this uh, maybe a couple there you know just randomly around wherever you feel that they could go and if an area looks a little bit boring you could always go ahead and put in some paintings I think one about here would be good. Let's go ahead and just block it off first of all. One right in the center there. I think that would look good. And I don't want to go too crazy in here. Um, I think that one there would do. In the middle here, we could put a single painting. So maybe something like, like that. This one here, we could get a little two painting. So let's do the same thing again. Perfect. Uh, down the hallway here, we put two paintings up already. We got some lighting down here, and I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, we got our walkway down here. Everything is all in place and looking good. Out here, oh guys, I nearly forgot. I don't think we've done this. Out here, you just simply want to put a couple of composters in the corner here, and you want to put some jungle leaves above it. So two, and then two, and then two, and then two. A couple of um, armor stands here with some armor on it just to decorate this little balcony. I think it's a really cool little balcony. So it just makes it look a little bit nicer. 
And then I think that just about does it down here, guys. We've organized all of this area. This is all looking good. We've got a nice walkway on this floor with everything all done and filled in. We come down to the end. We've got our feast hall. We've got our storage room down here with a storage room above as well. Access to our other rooms around here, which we will get to at some point. And then we're going to come back around here. Let's head downstairs. We finished up a nice little area here, which looks really cool. Come down here. Again, we've got everything looking nice in here. This looks all really cool. We've got ourselves a table in here. So this room's all looking good. And everything down here is looking nice as well. So yeah, guys, the castle is really taking shape. Now, we still got a fair bit of work to do in here. I've got to do the um, armory, which is going to be at the bottom of this level here. We've got a room up here to do something with, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. And a room over here. And then we've got the walkway for the guardhouse. We've also got the room at the very top here, which is going to be the uh, wizard's tower. We're going to put a load of brewing stations and stuff like that up there. We've got another room down the bottom here, which will be a chill out room. Decorating around the path here and even bits of decorating around this area here. Um, I'm tempted to actually try and put a, a little horse kind of stable area in here where we could actually bring the horses um, into the castle. I think that might be a cool idea. And then just a little bit of decorating around. Um, we've got a room up here to do. And I think that's most of it. Other than the top of the castle there, which is going to be the king's, king's um, chambers or king's area. I think most of the rooms are more or less done. Like I say, it's just really this side of the castle that needs to be done and the king's chambers and then we're going to be doing a bunch of decorating around the castle so we're going to have a bunch of trees and custom trees i'll show you how to make them decorate all this area on the outside and then we're going to make some kind of like palace gardens around the back here and then we're going to decorate up this balcony area here to make this a nice little kind of eating area for the king as well because this this is the entrance from the feast hall so they could choose to actually come out here to eat and then out here, we're maybe going to extend a bit of a wall. I think I might bring it down a little bit and then make an extension of a wall around this area here to make a sort of palace gardens for the castle. But other than that, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up just there for today. Now, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.